Blanc, it's a pleasure to see you. Hi, it's nice to see you, Peter. Kelly, why don't you tell um, our viewers a little bit uh, about yourself and why you're here at okay. Alt. Uh, I'm here speaking and part of my talk is to talk about uh, building things and how it's not necessarily as complicated to build things like events and things as, as maybe people might think they are like oh we should have this but then never actually do anything about it because they think it's complicated so Portland where I'm from builds all kinds of things all the time we just sort of decide this is what we're gonna do and then make it happen and so uh, that's one of the things that I think is an interesting part of Portland and so that's what I'm going to talk about and one of the events I'm going to use as an object example of that is App Camp for Girls. Tell us a little bit more about App Camp for Girls. App Camp for Girls was started by my friend Jean McDonald who had a good idea and figured out how to make it happen and wants to get girls uh, who may be at a point in like junior high or so um, where they sort of get steered toward other sorts of things like this may not be for you, you know girls don't use computers sciences for boys and that sort of thing and take that instead and sort of encourage them and give them an option and show them that iOS development or development in general can be fun, can be interesting, and it can be something that they may want to pursue in the future. Um, Kelly, uh, uh, you're also um, a, an occasional uh, guest host on Angry Mac Bastards, which is my podcast. I appreciate your, um, your uh, perspective whenever you're on. Uh, tell us about um, trying to inspire girls uh, for uh, STEM-related careers in programming and other aspects of computer technology. What does it mean to you uh, to be able to move that forward in this direction? For me, it's important because I grew up in a very small place and I was very often the only girl. I was the only girl in t-ball, the only girl in soccer, the only girl in front of a computer, the only girl that read comic books, and all those sorts of geeky pursuits were things that I really wished I had been able to share with someone. And the internet has eliminated a lot of that. I'm the only one who, whatever, which is great, but anything you can do in real life to help, as an example, to be a person in the world who goes about helping encourage people to do anything, whatever it is. And maybe not all of these girls are gonna grow up and build the next unbelievable you know, iOS 23, version 23 app or anything like that. But maybe they will see that it's interesting and maybe it will lead them to some other pursuit that they, maybe they would not have considered before. And I really like the idea of being able to encourage people to do the thing that they want to do so that it's a little easier for them if they decide that development or something else, engineering or STEM related, is uh, something that they want to do. And being able to see that there are women who have done it and are grown-ups, I guess, <laughs> out in the world and doing what, what they want to be doing. And if that's what they have a passion for, it's just really important to me to help encourage that. So it's getting started in Portland. Would you like to see this grow all over the place? I want to do it all over the world. I want to go all over and help start app camps every place that anybody wants to have one. If there's a need for app camp Antarctica, I'm sure we'll be there. So Fantastic. Well, um, tell folks where they can get more information. Uh, they can find out about app camp at appcamp4girls.org. And we're running a parallel piece with that of uh, App Stories, which is appstories.org, and learning about how various people have uh, gotten into development and their first app and how they became developers. Okay, and how about you? Do you want people to know where to find you on Twitter? No, I'm absolutely mysterious. Um, yes, yeah, so you can find me on Twitter and app.net as Verso. And I also host, most of the time, I host the unofficial Apple weblog, Tuwa Talkcast. And I'm on the British Tech Network Mac Show. I'm on Angry Mac Bastards. And uh, yeah, I think that covers it for now. Thank you very much for being with us. Thanks for having me.